Continuing Panama, Part 3, 1970 through 1974. Well, again, these years are some proof only. All right, now in 1970, the one centesimo exists only as a proof. Five cent, however, exists as both a business strike. And as a proof. Yeah, I say the proofs I know, may be well known and maybe the beautiful specimens. But sometimes the non proofs can be more interesting and more challenging to get in a high grade. This 1970, however, is the last silver coin actually struck at any U.S. Mint for circulation. Some of these were even struck in 1971. And that really is the end of taking silver coins, even only 40%. For circulation. It all ended there with this coin here, not with a Kennedy half dollar. But we know though there's a 1970 silver Kennedy half dollar, they were not put in circulation. Okay, and there's our one Balboa. Yeah, right. 1971, however, is strictly a proof only year. But if you look carefully at the color of the half Balboa, it still is obviously made of silver, but it's only struck as a proof. So you can see how the color of this matches the color of what's before and does not match the copper nickel clad with the other denominations. Same goes for 1972, strictly a proof only year. Again, the medium Balboa has a very distinct white color that shows that again, even though it is struck in 1973, along with all the 1973 uh, medium Balboas that are not silver, that one is silver. And of course, here's our Balboa, as always, 90% silver and proof only. It's kind of interesting to note that the Eisenhower dollars were only 40% silver when they were silver at all for the same years here. Now, 1973 exists as both proof and business strike for some coins. The cent is only a proof once again. There's another denomination, however, custom two and a half cent piece once again, 
This is the one about growing more food, also commemorating that. There it is, two and a half centesimos. So that's kind of neat. All right, now for five cent, here's the regular business strike. Look at that, he's beautiful cartwheeling there. And then here's the proof. Ten cent is ordinary uh, circulation strike. And a, uh, as a proof. Okay, here's the twenty five cent. Circulation strike. As a um, proof. Now, if you notice here, the media Balboa now has the same coloring as the uh, quarter Balboa. This is a business strike and also goes for the proof as well. Again, you notice a very, very different coloring. This is when they took the silver out of the Medio Balboa. So as you can see, like compared to the year before, no matter how you look at it, it's just not the same color because 72 is silver. Nor is it the same color as the one Balboa, which as you can see for 1973 is again a stunningly beautiful 90% silver proof. Even while the Ike dollars were only 20% silver. Now, 1974 would have been a proof only year, but with one oddball exception. Here's the cent. But the W mint, West Point. The one coin they're known to have made for foreign use, uh, maybe the Icelandic commemorative, is the centesimos, or most of them anyway, for um, Panama. That's the only circulation coin dated 1974. However, everything else was a proof only year. And F74 is a proof only year. Finally, the silver Balboa. This was the last year they would make these 90% proof silver Balboas. So, there are also proof sets for this year. For this phase. That's the 1970 uh, proof set. Seventy one proof set. Nineteen seventy two proof set. Nineteen seventy four proof set. Seventy-three, I should say, if there's seventy-two. And then there's the nineteen seventy-four proof set. Which again is that? Okay. There's also one other coin though of interest. 
we'll have to pick that up next part. All right.